Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to talk about division of complex numbers. Now, before we get started with division of complex numbers, what when we have complex numbers, it's generally improper to have imaginary parts in the denominator. So we basically have to take anything if there's an imaginary part in the denominator, and we need to figure out a way to get it out of the denominator. And so one idea that comes to mind is the idea of complex conjugates. If you don't know what complex conjugates are, stop this video and watch the video on complex conjugates. So how do we divide complex numbers? When we have complex numbers, we're going to have a plus bi over c plus di. And basically the goal is get that imaginary part out of the denominator. Now you can't just multiply by i over i because that's not going to clear it. That's just going to move the imaginary part over to c. So what we do instead is we try to figure out, well, what's a number how can we get a real number in the denominator? And that's when we want to use the complex conjugate. So to divide complex numbers, multiply both the numerator and denominator by the complex conjugate of the denominator. Now the reason we do this is because when you multiply a number divided by itself, that result is one. So we're not really changing the value of anything. We're just making it look a little different. And so what would happen here is you would have this product and you would multiply through in the numerator and then the denominator wouldn't end up becoming real. We would end up with c squared plus d squared in the denominator. Okay, let's look at some examples. Now in our first example, we actually only have an imaginary part, right? There's no real part to the denominator. So we don't need to worry about the complex conjugate. I can just multiply by i because I know multiplying i by i is going to give me a real number. And then I multiply the numerator by i. Now I like to go off and do these separate um, so that I'm not necessarily dealing with a fraction. So I need to distribute i to the two terms in the numerator. This would give me 3i minus 2 times i times i would be i squared. i squared is equivalent to negative 1, so this would become 3i, and then this is negative 2 times negative 1, so that would become plus 2. And what we want to do is we want to put it in complex standard complex form, so when we write it, we should put the real part first. So this is equivalent to 2 plus 2. 3i. And that's what we would do for this example. In our next example, we have 3 over 5 minus 2 times i. So again, well, this one's a little bit different because now we have two terms in the denominator, so we can't just multiply by i because that's just going to move the i over to the 5. Instead, we need to multiply by the con complex conjugate of the denominator, which would be 5 plus 2i in the denominator and 5 plus 2i in the numerator. Remember, we multiply by the same factor. It needs to be same thing over same thing in order for it to be the equivalent of 1. Okay, so now I'm just going to come off to the side and do my numerator. And this would be multiplying 3 to 5 plus 2i. That would give me 15 plus 6i. And now the denominator, we would have 5 minus 2i times 5 plus 2i. So this would end up being 25. Do you remember what it was? It was c squared plus d squared. So it's the first thing squared plus the second, um, the second, the, the real part of the second term. So it ended up being just plus 4 is equal to 29. If you don't believe me, you can always, always, always uh, distribute, multiply through. Um, but ultimately, you should end up with c squared plus d squared every single time. So what is this going to look like? This is going to look like 15 plus 6i over 29. If you want to, you can separate it, right, because it should be a plus bi form. That's what standard complex form means. So you can just separate them, 15 over 29 plus 6 over 29 times i. That's getting a little bit carried away. Um, ask your instructor if they're okay if you leave it like the original, the, the one on the left. But in case they don't, that's what you would do. You just split it up into two. In these last two examples, I encourage you to pause the video and try them before I go over them. Okay, for each of these, we need to multiply by the complex conjugate of the denominator. So I need to multiply both the numerator and denominator by 5 plus 6i. And looking at that numerator, just kind of cleaning it up off to the side, this would be 3 plus 7i times 5 plus 6i. This would give me 15 plus 18i plus 35i plus 42i squared. Now this is going to end up becoming, i squared is negative 1, so this will become minus 42. 
If I combine the real parts, that would be 15 and negative 42, so that would end up being negative 27. And then the imaginary parts, 18i and 35i, we add those together, we end up getting 53i. Okay, so now we have our numerator, we have negative 27 plus 53i. What about the denominator? Well, the denominator, we would end up having the first term squared, 25, plus the real part of the second term squared, 36. That's going to give us 61. So this would all be divided by 61. And again, if you need to split them up, you can split them up. That would be negative 27 over 61 plus 53 over 61 times i. Just make sure that i, just make sure that that i stays off to the to the side. It's not part of the denominator, right? It's it's behind the fraction. Okay, and in our last example here, we're going to multiply by the complex conjugate of the denominator. So that's going to be three plus four i to the numerator and three plus four i in the denominator. The numerator we get four minus five i times three plus four i. So that would be twelve plus sixteen i minus fifteen i minus 20i squared. So minus 20i squared, i squared is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 20 is positive 20. Combining the like terms, we have our real part, 12 plus 20 is 32. And our complex part, 16i minus 15i is just one single i, which I can just write as i. Sorry, it keeps going to that. Okay, so this we end up getting 32 plus i. And then in the denominator, it would be the square of the first, that would be 9, plus the square of the real part of the second, which would be 16. 9 plus 16 is 25. So this would be over 25. If you need to separate them, this would be 32 over 25 plus 1 over 25 times i. My goodness. This has been a video on dividing complex numbers or writing numbers in complex form when they're fractions. Thank you for stopping by.